Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a truffled mushroom and chestnut velouté with caramelized onion and chorizo. Enjoy! Right, so just going through the ingredients here, we're going to break this uh, down into two parts. Firstly, for the um, velouté, we've got julienne brown onion. I've got my uh, sliced button mushrooms. And I've got sliced portobello mushrooms. So portobello mushroom, like a field mushroom. Um, I just use that because it gives me a stronger mushroom flavor. To that, I'll add vegetable stock. I'm using about a liter of vegetable stock. I'm using just regular thickened cream. Got a little bit of garlic going in that. A little bit of sage. Then for the caramelized onion and the chorizo, I've got four onions which I've sliced really thin and just one whole chorizo I'm going to be thickening the um, velouté up with um, chestnut puree so now um, a velouté is actually a sauce that's thickened at the end rather than at the beginning so if you think about um, a lot of sauces they thicken from the start like a bechamel with your butter and your um, your flour using a roux so veluta is thickened at the end. Now to keep this gluten free, I'm thickening it with chestnut puree and it makes it really velvety and smooth, gives it a great flavor. So I'm starting off with the pot on a, on a fairly medium to low heat and I'm just sweating off the onions without giving them too much color. I've also added the garlic to that. I'm just gonna keep cooking it out on this heat until the onions go translucent, until they're pretty much cooked. Been about five minutes now, so I add my portobello mushrooms first. And now I add my button mushrooms. And I add half a bunch of finely chopped sage at the beginning as well. Now to that I add about a tablespoon of butter, mix it through, just give that about five minutes just to melt and cook the onions up with the mushrooms for a little bit. It's been about three minutes. Now I add a liter of vegetable stock. So in my vegetable stock, which I made yesterday, I just put um, leeks, parsley, stalk, um, white onions which I roasted, um, carrots which I roasted off as well, and uh, a couple of parsnips. It's got a fantastic flavor and I'll just put a bouquet garni in there as well with um, peppercorns and bay leaf. So we'll let that simmer for a few minutes, we'll turn the heat down um, to medium, to a little bit lower actually and we'll get the caramelized onions done. So for the caramelized onions we start off with um, a pot on again a medium, this time to high heat. Add the onions in. At the same time I add my chorizo which I've um, well, finely sliced. And we just keep stirring that, keep cooking it up. But the natural sugars of the, um, the onion come out and start to caramelize. As you can see the onion, the onion is starting to soften now. It hasn't started caramelizing just yet. Now a trick that I learned for caramelizing onions out is you, in the beginning stage, add a little bit of um, salt. Now the salt helps to draw the natural moisture out of the onion and obviously that natural moisture has sugars in it and that'll just help the salt to caramelize. So I find once I've added the salt, 
It actually caramelizes a lot faster than what it usually would. Okay, so the um, I can feel the onions starting to catch on the bottom now, caramelize a little bit on the bottom as well. So now I add about two, one and a half to two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I just let that break up and coat the onions. Okay, so now the onions are starting to take on this beautiful golden color. So before it goes any further, I'm going to add a red wine reduction. Now this, um, I've taken a bottle of red wine and I've reduced it down by two thirds. And it's really rich and intense. I'm not going to add all of it, just as you can see it's quite viscous, it's quite thick. That was about four tablespoons. And that's going to change the onions completely. Give it a wonderful red wine flavor. Help to deglaze the bottom of that pan. And give it a bit more of a sauce consistency. So we'll leave that to reduce further. Take it back to where it was. And the onions will be considerably darker as well. All right, so that's done. The smell is just amazing. It tastes, it tastes sweet, a little bit salty, rich, just fantastic. So we'll switch that off and we'll blend our soup. Right, I've allowed the, um, the mushrooms to cool a bit just in that pot and I'm putting them in the blender as I'm going along. And as I'm blending it, I'm just adding a tablespoon to each blender full of this um, chestnut paste. So as you can see the chestnut paste is quite thick and it's just a natural thickening agent. Right, so to this now we add the cream. And just keep it a little bit back for garnish. And we'll season it. It's a little bit of salt and white pepper. Right, so we start off by placing the caramelized onion in the center of our soup bowl. Gently pour the soup around that. A little cream. Some truffle oil. tomato. What else would you rather serve that with than some nice hot focaccia? Just out the oven. There you go. So that's my truffled mushroom and chestnut veloute with caramelized onion and chorizo and I've served that with a beautiful warm cheese and garlic focaccia.